Hi, I'm Jeff Warren, and I created Cardigan. And now I'm going to show you a bit about how to make your own map and how to style it with GSS or Geographic Style Sheets. This is Cardigan.org. It's our demo site, and we've also put a good bit of work into being able to produce maps from anywhere in the world using the OpenStreetMap dataset. So if you type a place name <clears throat> into this Go Somewhere box, It'll try to find that place and make a map of it. To make your own map, you can take an excerpt of this map. You can use this download data link here. It prompts you to select a bounding box. And it will get every polygon and line that intersect that bounding box. We want to select this and copy it. That'll help you actually make your map later. It's the bounding box of the viewport. The first thing you need is the source. We've packaged up a client edition for you with some sample map data. We won't be using the sample data, but we'll be replacing it with the data that you just got. To get started, just open index.html in a browser window. <clears throat> you see the, the sample Rome data set that we provided. Just take your map.json file, drag it into the cardigan root, and we'll connect it up with the index.html file. Here you go. You can load as many different layers as you want, but for now, we'll just do map.json. And here is where you paste in the latitude and longitudes that we're providing. <clears throat> now make sure that when you open your map, it's above the area that you just selected. You can reload, and indeed, we have some small slice of Paris. Let's get rid of this box, since you probably don't want that. The only thing you really need to leave in the body of the HTML page is the canvas element itself. Everything else we'll just delete. There we go. So this is all on the client side. It doesn't involve any Ruby code. What we'll do next is actually produce our own style sheet. We can take the sample Rome style sheet that's been provided as an example. <clears throat> I use TextMate and uh, I find it's uh, useful to set the syntax highlighting to CSS so I can choose colors. These first three styles are the most important. Body is for the background. Node is for individual points, which we don't use. And way is for any polygon or line, just like in OpenStreetMaps. So, <clears throat> Let's simplify this a little bit. Here's our new map. It doesn't look very good, but we'll add a little bit of color to the waves, and there we go. <clears throat> But, you know, that's not super, so let's keep going. These are buildings, and we can't really see them, so we'll add a fill, a fill style. And I like them to be a bit opaque, or sorry, uh, uh, transparent. So I'll set the opacity to 0 0.7. Make sure you have this leading comma, because GSS is actually uh, JavaScript object notation, or JSON. So it needs to conform to that spec. Oh, it looks like we just <clears throat> did that for all polygons. What I'll do is copy that out, and then type building. That'll look for anything that's been tagged as a building, and it will apply these styles to it. There we go. We can afford to make that a bit darker.
Okay. Now let's add some water. Rivers are tagged as waterways in the OpenStreetMap open data. So we'll give that a fill style. Something like that. <clears throat> there we go. Let's change the streets to white. And we can choose just the primary streets, again using an OpenStreetMap tag, and we'll make them a bit thicker. So there you go. Um, that's about all you'll need to know to get a basic map together. Uh, for more information, you can look at wiki.cardigan.org. Uh, and see more examples of GSS and cardigan in use. Thanks a lot.